Hello everyone, welcome to our Facebook Live event. Uh, today we have Kristen Cannon. Kristen is our new Crosby Elementary School principal and we're happy to have you. Thanks Thank for you. coming to join us after a hard day's work. Uh, spending a little bit more time to get grilled uh, here. We hope this isn't too painful. We're, no, it's good. We're it's gonna good. make it easy on you. I'll take it. Good. <laughs> Before we get uh, go on this, I just wanna remind people that we have a couple really important events in the district coming up this week that I just wanna remind people of. First of all, our um, business incubator open house is at the high school on Thursday night at six o'clock. So there's been a lot of uh, talk about the incubator and we were excited to show off the, the, the place and the, the facility, the location and talk about plans. It's really exciting. And then uh, another event, and uh, if you live in Harvard like I do, you got a postcard on Saturday of the MCC in Harvard event, which is here this Saturday from 11 o'clock till 2, where we're going to expose people to an opportunity to take MCC 101, that first class you take at MCC for free right here in Harvard. And we have MCC people here. We're going to have music. We'll have um, a, a taco truck mm -hmm. and all kinds of fun. Uh, it's going to be a good time and really a, a cool opportunity. So hope people come out and learn about that opportunity. It just some of the cool things going on here in the district. So, Sounds good. Kristen, you are brand new to this, and many yes. people kind of saw your name um, announced that you were the principal and have kids. Uh, people sometimes forget that Crosby is our biggest school, actually, in the district. Mm -hmm. You know, 800 kids. 800. You yep, have a right. humongous responsibility, and that includes staff and students. And so um, we're anxious to get to know you because it is a really important job. I, I, I firmly believe that how our students start their educational experience kind of dictates how they end just as much. So what a critical job. So why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, kind of your background and where you've been, what you've been doing. Yes, well, I'm really excited to be able to do this because I know that there's the name, that my name has been out there, but not even my face really. I don't think my face, my <laughs> picture's even on Facebook right. or on the website yet. So, yeah. um, so we're working towards that. but. Um, a little bit about me. I um, have been in ed education for 18 years. Um, I have I taught for 14 years, so I taught first, fourth, and fifth grade um, for many years. Um, first grade, I had a, a year of experience um, before I became an assistant principal um, in Crystal Lake. So I spent most of my career, all of my career until now in uh, Crystal Lake and uh, had experience at many different buildings um, as an administrator at two, two different buildings. So it was a really great, great experience. Um, a little bit to, to know about me personally, I would, would want you to know that I've been married to my husband, John, for 18 years this year in December. All right, congratulations. Um, and he is my rock. He, yeah. he really does um, support everything that I do and uh, my children as well. I have a son, Brady, who is uh, a junior this year in high school. And I have a daughter, uh, Madison, who is in seventh grade this year. So um, we have our, our hands full up there, or you know, hands full at home with the kiddos and two dogs to add to that. So. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes. Let's give Brady a little shout out for golf today. Yeah. He had a, uh, a fifth place finish at the he conference did. golf meet. He did. I'm really proud of him. And, you know, both my kids are, are excelling in their sports, and it's really exciting. My daughter plays softball, and uh, she hit a home run over the fence the other day. That's like a so, legit. Home yeah. Run, so, Maddie and Brady are, are doing well, and mom and dad are, of course, are extremely proud. Very so, busy yeah. trailing them. Good. Yes. Good. Well, one of the things um, that people may have been surprised this summer to know that Mrs. Hall left and so mm -hmm. you were actually hired very late in the summer right. and so you know that had to be a big decision for you like whoa should I apply for, for um, this job so kind of what led you to say yeah you know I think I would like that job that would be good and I'm gonna put in my materials to apply because that had to be a big decision you were at a place for 18 years mm -hmm. and to, to leave somewhere where you're established and know all the routines and know everything inside mm -hmm. out that was a big decision tell us a little bit about how you decided to apply and we're glad you did. Sure, sure. Well, um, anybody that knows me knows I'm a risk taker. Um, I love I, I love to grow and learn. And so um, as you know, through my teaching career, I was always kind of nudged and pushed to mm -hmm. try something new um, by previous principals. Uh, and so I was I had the good fortune to work with um, some principals in District 47 that have really molded me to who I am today. Mm -hmm. um, my most recent principal I worked with, Stacy Graff, had always encouraged me to to you know just go for it, you know, just kind of put yourself out there. And she allowed me to to become who I am today um, as a leader. So 
it was at the it was kind of a last minute obviously as I looked at the the posting I kind of thought to myself hmm so I did a little research on the school first mm -hmm. in the district mm -hmm. to see if I thought it might be a good fit for me um, and the the previous school that I worked at in Crystal Lake has a very similar demographic mm -hmm. um, and that suits me well um, I I, I I thrive in a place where I feel like I can make an impact, um, and I felt like looking at the demographics, looking at the district, that this is a place with, that, that that needs me as much mm -hmm. as I need them. So um, well, I so. really feel like it's a that was the reasoning, and it was last minute, and it was <laughs> as you as you know, like you said, a pretty big risk. But I'm right. pretty I'm super excited to be given the challenge and opportunity yeah. to to work with everybody at Crosby. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So let's call it two months, just kind of round it off a little bit. Oof. In those crazy two months, it's going to all feel like a blur, you know, 12 months now. You go, oh, my gosh, I can't believe everything I did. What have you learned about Crosby and Harvard? What are kind of the things that you're sensing that are mm -hmm. like, wow, I didn't, I didn't know that or maybe didn't anticipate that? Well, I guess first and foremost, everyone knows everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Everyone That's knows true. everyone, and so Very it's true. so it's fascinating to me to hear somebody knows somebody that knows you in yep. in a way. So that's that's interesting. It's really cool. Well, as a, almost a lifelong McHenry County resident, your connections are unbelievable. Yes, yeah. yes, and so I, and I, my mom just texted me on my way over here saying, "I know somebody else that knows you that works <laughs> at your school, and I know you this way." And it's so it's it's crazy right. to me. Yep. Um, but I think that I've learned that, and that's a that's a, a an area that's that could be a really great benefit to. Yeah. to me that everybody knows everyone because I want to network and I want to be yeah. collaborative with people so yeah. um, that's something that I've learned and I also learned that people uh, especially in Crosby and getting to know um, the parents and the staff they really care a lot about the environment and the kids well, and the community sure. um, it has a real sense of community small town feel and that's what I've noticed and I love that so um, you know and of course the last thing for, for me I'd say is the kids are amazing um, I've learned that and they just they just desire the attention and the um, motivation that you can provide for them every day when you see them mm -hmm. um, and they're excited to learn so I was there yesterday morning mm -hmm. uh, for a couple hours to start the day and I I didn't want to leave yes because I just got in some of the greatest conversations with kids just about the most random things it's mm -hmm. really a special place so mm -hmm. now let's talk about the challenges that coming in you know essentially sure. August 1st presents what have been some of the things that have been like oh we got to get that done what are some of the things that have been um, rushed into place and mm -hmm. kind of what have you been working on? Well, we've been working on a lot. Um, I would say that definitely in my mind and in my leadership capacity and role, um, I would would want some of the things that I've been working on at last minute, things that I would prefer to be um, completed in May and June. So we kind yeah. of feel like we've been behind behind the ball a little bit just because we're trying to catch up on some yeah. things, you know, scheduling and um, just hiring. We, we are pretty fully That's staffed big. now, which is awesome, but it took yeah. a little bit to get there. Right. Um, and also just, just getting to know the staff. For me, uh, I think it's really important to build relationships. And if we can build relationships with staff, mm -hmm kids and their families, then that's half the battle and right. what we're trying to do, which is accomplish um, growth in our kids. Yep. So um, it, it's been been kind of a struggle, but we are, you know, we, we're taking our baby steps and one thing at a time is, is what we can do. And um, the parents that I have um, worked with so far have been extremely supportive and, um, you know, I, I welcome their yeah. their um, thoughts and ideas right. because we, we're just working to make it a great yeah. place for our kids. Well, I've just heard from a few parents that have had interactions with you and they got done they're like oh thank you for encouraging me to talk to her that was so mm -hmm. helpful so I, I think that was one of the things that made you so appealing to us is just that sincerity that you approach all your interactions with that mm -hmm. people really say you know she I think she really cares about my kid and I think that's what we all want in our kids principal myself included I so I appreciate that I do one of the things I think I always think about when I when I think about kids is what I want my own child my own children yeah. who are my life, you know, I, what, how would I want them to feel yeah, in the situation right, right. and how would I want to feel as a parent in that oh, situation. Right. So I take that to the table with me anytime I'm working with parents and staff. So let's brag about Crosby and about the district <laughs> yes. a little bit. What are some of the things in your 
um, your, your fresh eyes and fresh perspective? What are some things about Crosby and the district that you're like, wow, we really got a good thing going on there? Yeah, yeah. Well, well like I said before, everyone is eager and, hung, and hungry to learn. Oh, so sure. the staff is uh, amazing at, as far as like they piece together and they work really well mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. to um, to help each other out and and I just a shout out to all of them because me like I like you'd said me coming in this late it makes it yeah. really difficult not only for for staff but parents as well yeah. so um, anybody who has come together to collaborate around anything um, going on within the building um, has been really helpful um, I also just think that we have lots of pieces to our puzzle that we need to put together mm -hmm. and um, I think that our, our uh, group of uh, kids are also um, helpful in that because because as we learn their needs we can um, accomplish the things that we need to so that's a good point yeah, yeah that's good so with that I mean those are some good things to know for people that aren't inside the organization mm -hmm. what are some things that you're you're hoping to improve some things you hope to tackle yeah. in year one there's a million things and some may have to wait but what are some things that are pressing you're like we got to get to that yeah well um, number one for me that I that I've noticed is um, I one of the things I said when I came was where are all of our where, where are our parents I want our parents to be in our building during the day so I'm working really hard to mm -hmm. um, with staff to help us um, develop how can we get our parents into to volunteer because they want to we have parents who I actually just sat down with a parent the other day and was talking to them and they were like well if I knew I could come in I definitely would sure. so um, it's just a matter of getting all the logistics in place and you know whether it be like a math volunteer mm -hmm. or a, a reading volunteer we want to get our, our parents in to help help right. our, our students and our teachers yeah. um, so that is, is something that I think we can improve at Crosby I also think just communication over Overall, like mm -hmm. with parents, um, with our families, mm -hmm. um, with with everyone involved, would be really, I think, a, a great improvement for us. Yeah, that I guess that's a good point. You know, Crosby has such a tradition of having such a strong PTO organization mm -hmm. that's really helpful and does things, and, and it's just that eagerness to support kids mm -hmm. and then. Um, communicating how can I be supportive that's mm -hmm. a that's a fascinating yeah. thing to figure we have a PTO meeting tomorrow night starting oh, at 6 I think that yes. would be really awesome we want to get as many parents and volunteers out to help we have a fall fest coming up in October oh, good. so we definitely want more help with that okay. and um, so be where awesome. and when so tomorrow night at 6 o'clock in our cafeteria okay at Crosby all mm -hmm. right there you go so, Crosby parents yeah show up and you might be able to help us out in some way yes. um so when you think of yourself, you know, this is a, a, your first principal job and uh, people think that you know, you're the principal now and that's, it takes a little while to th sink in that, oh man, I'm really the principal. Yeah, I hasn't the, sunk in yet. You know, right? <laughs> Just saying. Because you've been so busy. But, yes. you know, how do you hope people see you and recognize you and think of you as, as a, the leader of, of Crosby? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, definitely, I I want to be viewed as collaborative. Like that is extremely important to me. I, I love to listen, um, and so a lot of times when parents come or staff come, I listen and to seek solutions to yeah. to what we're trying to accomplish. So I want to I want I want everyone to view my leadership style as a partnership with everyone, all stakeholders involved, because we're all in it for the same reason, right. to help our kids. Yep. I want them to feel that um, I'm sincere, like you'd said before, mm -hmm. and also that I just love kids. Like that's yep. just, I mean, I was that kid in the in the garage <laughs> when I was little who was, who was teaching my neighbor <laughs> <All right. laughs> with the worksheets and everything. That's so true. I've always had a passion behind um, working with kids and I just want them to realize that I'm a risk taker and that risk taker um, involves what's best for kids. What are we going to yeah. do and what are we going to implement that's only going to benefit um, our, our kids in the school. That's so. going to make a big difference. Yeah. Okay, a rapid fire round. Oh, okay. Whew. Favorite kind of pizza? Oh, well, definitely a double cheese. That was for my mom. Double cheese. Double cheese. From where? Ooh. Who's your favorite pizza? Oh, pointers. Pointers in, in Marengo, right? Yes, uh, they have pizza now. Double cheese. Double oh, cheese. Okay, I'll have to remember For sure. That. Um, favorite childhood vacation? Ooh, favorite childhood vacation. I have to say Las Vegas. Oh, wow, that sounds fun. Uh, favorite color? Blue. Blue, okay, got your blue yep. uh, dress on, that's good. Um, favorite memory as a teacher? Hmm. Ooh. 
That is really putting me on the spot. <laughs> it's rapid fire round. What I comes know. comes Favorite memory as a teacher. Or maybe favorite teacher that you had, maybe. Oh, wow. I have Make a lot it a little of them. easier. My favorite teacher was probably my fourth grade teacher, Mr. Paquette. Okay. He actually was at Dean Street in Woodstock. Mm -hmm. And okay. um, definitely a favorite teacher of mine. Oh, that's good. Always cared about what I was doing and was very empathetic. That is uh, some traits that he passed on to little fourth grade you that you're still doing as a principal. Oh, so, thanks. Kristen, uh, we're just we're so glad you're here with us doing a great job. And uh, people that haven't had a chance to stop by Crosby and meet you yet, I uh, hope uh, they can do that yes. and or come to the Fall Fest yes. or any of our events at, at Crosby. We really do uh, think that we're headed for really good things. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks for spending some time to Absolutely. come to our Facebook event here. And Absolutely. thanks to everyone out there for watching. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great night. Thanks.